folks. Welcome back here to Firewater Farm Sawmill. Uh, we've had a hydraulic failure we're going to talk about today. It set us back a couple weeks. Had a directional valve go bad. This mill, it runs a D05 valve. Uh, it's more or less kind of an industrial standard valve. This is what was wrong with it. Uh, we had a plunger right here to go bad. Been noticing for a while our guide has been just kind of drifting in and some of our videos you can see it it just kind of drifts in drifts in been trying to figure out what was going on i kind of knew that the hydraulic fluid was blowing by and this spool inside of here there's a spool that shifts back and forth when you put power on these solenoids create a magnetic field on the plunger right here and that causes that spool to shift back and forth and that's how you get to function on your whatever you're doing on your cylinder uh in our case guide in and out uh, or you can do up and down or back and forth whichever one you're doing uh so our spool was blowing by right here causing oil to get up in here to our to our plunger which it ain't supposed to get up in here and it and it cracked it right here around the edge well didn't have a valve uh going through covid right now done a little bush fix so i just i just i just done a little welding right here on the on the end which I knew it would probably distort that plunger, and it did, but what it did is it enabled us to get another order out that we needed to do, and our guide wouldn't move back and forth, so thought I was going to do a little bush fix and fix it, but, you know, bush fixes are just temporary, and that's what this was, so we ordered a new valve from Cook's Manufacturing. Uh, by the way, Cook's, I called them within three or four days. It was sitting at my doorsteps. Uh, I got to give a shout out to them. They've done a great job getting it here. But uh, this is what was wrong. And um, people that ain't familiar with directional valves, ain't much to them. Like I say, there's a spool in here. You put power here, create a magnetic field, shifts it that way, makes the guy go in, shifts it that way, makes the guy go out. Uh, one thing you got to know when you put these valves on, you got little O-rings right here on the bottom. You kind of want to make sure that they're staying in place. If you having a problem with them coming out, I usually use a little bit of grease, just put a little grease on them, and that, that keeps them that keeps them in place. That way you can just bolt it right up. Uh, and that was the problem on this, and this mill, we bought it, it's a 2003, it's been sitting out in the weather for a while, and all the connections in here was rusty. So we wasn't able to unwire it. We had to, you know, cut the wiring and uh, re-spliced re wires back in there, which wasn't no, wasn't no big deal, it had plenty of wire left, but, uh, that was our catastrophic hydraulic failure. Blowing by on the spool, creating our plunger to blow out and just leak oil everywhere. Uh, and that, that set us back for a while. And uh, That was a problem. So if you have that problem on your mill, that's what's going on. We're about to take the old one off and put the new one on and see what happens. All right, folks, we got our valve on. Hopefully we fixed our hydraulic problem. Um, got it bolted up, getting ready to fire it up. Got it all the oil cleaned up. Let's see what happens. Looks like that fixed a problem. We have a guy that runs in and out in, uh, all the time now, like it's supposed to. It does not drift like it was doing. Looks like that fixed a problem. Hope this helps somebody. Uh, if it does, have any questions, comments, y'all hit us up in the questions, comment area. And uh, hope to see you again. Thanks for subscribing. <laughs>